law requires that this is what, and I said, look, the most important part of your state standard is the learning that equation. Mm. So now, the, she's never seen the state court written. Mm. And so it becomes a challenge because in legal status, we're arguing legal terms in court. If you want, you can sue the state. If your child has no special needs, but has to in the family, you can sue the school. Anybody know there was $30 million put right here in the STEM? Anybody knows that? Last year? Anybody cut? Anybody had an effect of that $30 million? $30 million, unprecedented amount, has never been invested into a black community that amount. Has anybody here touched it? That is because we don't understand STEM. And the people who are doing it, no offense to anyone, we're articulating, we're bringing coding. Anybody heard of it? Anybody brought their kid to a coding program? Want to say, we're doing coding? We're doing coding? Yeah, we're going to do a coding program. Coding what? <laughs> Website, the phone, machines, cars? <laughs> well, what are they coding? But if you don't understand what coding is applied to, then you just sound like somebody going to the store looking at stuff you can't afford, but got money in your pocket. Like, how am I going to do Like, I want to do coding, that sounds good. I want my kid to learn coding, that sounds black power. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. We need to know exactly what it is. You know, when I teach the children, electrical engineering was pioneered, mastered, and developed by black people. That's what made America rich. Every every invention that we had in the field of electrical engineering, from the hot coal, the toaster oven, the iron, the heater, has made China rich. Think about that. China's rich off of black products. Those are black rock training after the white They took our phones, they took our sciences, and took that. And what the white man did was allow us to believe that they were the ones that taught us. That our their system is what we need to do this. The codification of information is old as anybody's religion. The Bible could argue is a form of code. The laws of my is a form of code. It's codified. Can you bring me to point number seven, paragraph four, please? Go to stone distance out of this temple, and it'll tell you exactly what you should do if you're having this eating problem. Hey, how are you? I'm going to argue about it. One, 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 one. That's the reason why the whole curriculum is so important, especially when the parents understand what it's going to be to get our children to be successful. You know, the same parent I was talking to, algebra two, you heard me say algebra two? Do you know what the child to school for? Law. The highest math needed for law is algebra one. In college. But I told her, I said, you're wasting your daughter's time. She should be doing law. She's 14, 14 years old. She should be reading every case law book. She should be hanging around the law hub, taking out a landlord tennis court. You want to see law? Go to landlord tennis court. See what it looks like for us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go to the court. That, and she looked at me, I'm like, this is, this is my philosophy. But I'm centered around black and power. I don't have the time for my children to be waiting around for some white man to tell them at 17 I'm good. I need to put at 14. I need to know that you can make an engine at 13. I need to know that you can make bridges. I need to know that you can make a gun. I need to know that you can solder, make a circuit board. You can save my black. <laughs> you see what I mean? And for me, when I talk to parents, that's where I'm at. And so I, I, it's hard to talk to people who are just looking to replace the white man that's been in their head their <laughs> Someone to help cater to the system that might have pinched them the wrong way, and now they're like, oh, I don't want to deal with it from here. 
is bigger than that. It's really when you see an independent mind that needs to be catered to, developed, supported, nurtured. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take you saying, hold on, I got two jobs. I'm all the food. But I got to bring my baby on my arm. What's the son at? Let me get my son. Right? So, this is typical. I grew up in a very multicultural neighborhood, so I saw Egyptians, Arabic, Dominicans. This is what normal. The wife was always in the store like this. I learned very early on, like, the baby's not an excuse. That's what makes the story better. And I did this with my baby in my arm, you know what I'm saying? And, I did this track, and that's why some of my sisters are so powerful. Because that's the story and the testimony that they've been living. And as fathers, seeing the situation, I'm proud of so many men here, you know what I mean, in the communities here, us aligning around certain aspects of this is very important. Because this is a very serious topic for us. And the families that Passing. sit here politically, you know, one person represents five politically. One family can represent 25 people. You see what I mean? So they don't want this conversation to happen the way that we're having it because for them they understand that the natural progression oh, oh no, the natural progression is going to be organized. So when you tell us vaccination, and we're like, ah, right, you know what, I can deal with an MMR. I'm a little old school. But I don't know about hepatitis B, AIDS, I don't know about all this new stuff. You was vitamin K. Yeah, I'm not saying I don't, what, 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 trying to put vitamin K in my side. Ah. <laughs> Hold on, what the heck is you doing? We're going to start organizing. Like when I asked Sister Janelle, how many of us had a baby in a state hospital? Had a baby in a state hospital, meaning in New York City there's like six state hospitals. Brooklyn, Harlem, Coney Island. Babies in state hospitals? State hospitals don't use the same vaccination as Christian hospitals. Wow. So my mommy has a better choice of vaccination. <laughs> Presbyterian has a better choice. But some of us don't get these data. We don't even get the chance to question. Look, we want to start bringing our babies to your hospital, and we're going to deal with y'all. Because you're the only hospital left that had the old vaccination. Because the state hospitals all bought the new vaccination because it's more economically viable. And so now this is why they keep pushing us and say, take these six shots at once. We're already giving you free education, 3K, pre-K, summer parks, summer programs. We need to save money. So in order for us to save money, we came up with a new vaccination. And it has all six of them in one. You check it, but some of them twitch for about four or five months. And it may mess up, but the majority should be okay. This is how they're articulating it to us and how they're making their moves. But this family right here, I'm hyped. Y'all understand, this is why I said I got almost 50 kids in our program. I'm brown, so I graduated from Rikers Island. You know what I'm saying? I'm black power. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I got 50 kids nationwide, all got locks and everything. And the whole family's here. So I'm saying this, bro, Fisa, what's Sister Fisa? She was just saying it, but she was when we, when we started. Marshall, we started this years ago when we was like some people doing this. And to see us all here now is definitely different. I believe it. Look like is anyone here planning on homeschooling? Who homeschools now currently? Nice, nice, nice. And who plans on who wants to homeschool this semester? And who has a child that's six years that wants six years and older? So how many six years and older? Six years and older? Is your first time? Beautiful, beautiful. Success, success. First time? First time? Do you have any questions? Are you listening? So with that being said, so let me go into the first time. Get yourself a dry eraser board. Get yourself three or five, five subject notebooks, a folder. Also get a webcam or a digital media device that you can use online. Get use a Google account so you can store your stuff. I use iXL, so for anybody who's not the best in math or language arts, iXL is the only website that is sanctioned in New York City. iXL. There's no other website that's sanctioned to be used in New York City. No. Q, you call me? iXL. iXL is iXL.com. It's pretty expensive. If everything goes the way it will this year, please, 
me up and I'm having full of everybody. You know? <laughs> so that is definitely there. But ISO is a great tool. It does use new math. I hear a lot of people complain about new math. New math is a better way of doing old math. So if you like your phone, or do you want to go back to the start, you know, the start, the start check? What's that old phone? Oh, yeah. No, it's trash. No, the, no, no, the calculator. Start check, start, 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 start check, right? Yeah, yeah. You want to go back to the, you know what I'm saying? You want to go back to the old, the flip phones? Or oh, we want to advance it. For me, I'm more about advancing. So with us, our institute, we use Zoom. We have a virtual program that we start. I usually start, we start at 10 o'clock, but online, we start at 11 o'clock. If it's your first time homeschooling, make your schedule for you. And I would suggest that you remember, it's just about four to five hours a day. So that you can literally wait for that one o'clock, do a half hour, rest half hour. If not, like school is not ready for school. So you have to remove the head of your head and say, my child's requirements are this, and this is how I'm gonna meet those requirements. And that means you can start it. You can start at four o'clock, three o'clock, whatever time. children were supposed to know, and if you didn't meet that PTA meeting, or you didn't meet with those principals, you had no clue. So now, for example, K through second grade in New York, New York City, I employ anyone to go to California standard. If you go to New York City website, the first test they ask you to take or suggest to take is the CAT, the California Assessment Test. So for me, I said, you want me to take the California test, I should look at the California requirements, because so that's the first test that you suggest. That you suggest. California's whole curriculum is extremely open and very quick. The difference is New York lingo jargon is in a different common tone in the sense that California's language is in lingua jargon. So they say what our educational claim is that your child was properly prepared for fifth grade. Then from there, in order to substantiate that claim, we claim that this child was taught these six subjects. These six subjects have these specific subclaims. These subclaims would be the domains of the New York would be the child was taught out, out, you know, algebra, out, you know, blah, 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 blah. In those subdomains, there's a list of targets. So for example, in, in language arts, reading has 14 targets. Now, when they develop a curriculum, your test is based off of the cluster of your major domains. And that gets a little confusing. So what does that mean? You have four subjects in mathematics. In those four subjects, operations and algebra, they combine together. So if you look up the four curriculum, it say OA for New York. But operations and algebra. Okay. Operations in algebra would have, for example, there's, there's four subjects. <laughs> for a test, you have those four subjects are working as a cluster. So for K through second grade, the main cluster for kindergarten will be operations in algebra. So out of the four subjects that you have to get for it, 60 percent will be based on that. So now how does that work for a test? That means when they tell you a test, they tell you a major cluster. For example, the GED, the major cluster of the GED is operations and algebra. So knowing how to take add, divide, subtract, multiply, do fraction, take, and dash, all those things. If you know that alone, to get every question right, you will get 45 of the test. Then out of the three subjects that's left over, you'll tell you your second level cluster. So for example, they'll tell you that now you have to know this much of data and measurement. So if you have every question right in data and measurement, that will be suffice for 60% of the material. This is kind of black because if you look at all your applies on 30% of the This is why white people don't respect the system when they test because it's a 33 percentile is equivalent to 65 in New York. So if you try to say 33 on any state test, that is 65 in New York. So I have no respect for the same. But if that answer your question, so if you know, you can look up the 
co-curriculum in California, they will show you your grade level, and then you have to disclose your major clusters in that state box. So most of the major clusters in the state grade box. Um, any other that question for us that? So some of us live in districts that are really messed up. That's why I brought up Corey Gaines. Some of us have to deal with the district. In New York City, most of us don't have to deal with the district. We have a homeschooling office. If you have an issue with your district, I suggest you just legally change your venue and tell them that your child moved. You know what I mean? If it gets too crazy because they're gonna they're gonna do what they have to do to whatever way they want to get done. So if they don't like you, you walked in there with your dashiki on, some drums. Look, black power! I ain't bringing my baby this crap in school. They're gonna like, oh word, that's how you feel? Alright, no problem. ACS, can you please do me a favor? Then they're gonna say, oh you didn't let ACS, oh you didn't receive your document. Then they're gonna send the sheriff to retrieve your document. And after they send the sheriff in, then they're gonna send DYCD, they might send housing, don't live in the project. Mm. And don't put your child in 3K. If mm. you live in Harlem, Harlem entire community is under Harlem Children's Zone. Mm. So if you have an issue with Harlem Children's Zone, Harlem Children's Zone, remember this is a money game. Some of us look alike, but ain't alike. So the only thing they're seeing is a number. In Harlem, you brought up in the projects, they know, oh, that baby's gonna be in my program as soon as they turn three. I don't like your mama. You don't have my child in the program. I'm sending everybody to the third floor to come do an inspection. Now you got NYCHA checking your house. They're checking everybody inside your apartment. Then they're going to send these people. It's community. Luckily in New York, we have to deal with the department. And that white dude over there got a little office. And he don't got no problems over there. We had him all the way in the back of the office. And he don't got no problems. And then I'm